With respect to shareholder relationship, general meetings are standard practice. Companies are generally required to hold an annual general meeting within a certain period following the end of their fiscal year. At the AGM, the management provides shareholders with the audited financial statements for the year, addresses the company's performance and significant actions over the period, and answers shareholder questions. Typically, anyone who owns the company's shares is permitted to attend, to speak, or to ask questions and to vote. A shareholder can miss the meeting and still vote by proxy, meaning that she assigns her right to vote to another who will attend the meeting. This person can be a director, member of management, or the shareholder's investment advisor. A proxy may specify the shareholder's vote on the issues or leave the vote to the discretion of the assignee. Ordinary resolutions such as approval of auditor and the election of directors require just a simple majority of the votes cast. Other resolutions that are more material by nature, such as those regarding a merger or takeover, or an amendment of corporate bylaws, are termed special resolutions. Such resolutions may require a supermajority vote, which is typically two-thirds or three-fourths of the votes cast. Such special resolutions can also be addressed at extraordinary general meetings, which can be called any time there is a resolution that requires a vote by the shareholders. When voting for directors, two types of voting systems are allowed. In a statutory voting system, each share held is assigned one vote in the election of each board member. So if the shareholders have three, six and one shares respectively, and there are three seats to be filled, shareholder A will have three votes for each seat, B has six, and C has one. The issue with such a system is that a majority shareholder can effectively decide on every board seat. Shareholder B has six votes for each seat, so he can choose to place six votes for the three candidates of his choice, thereby all three of the board members elected will be his choice. To better serve shareholders who own a small number of shares, cumulative voting is often used. Under this system, shareholders are allowed to accumulate their votes to cast on any candidate they wish. So in this case, the minority shareholders can arrange to cast all their votes on one candidate. Numerically, the major shareholder cannot be assured to be able to decide on every board seat. Besides such protection mechanisms, minority shareholders can also be granted rights to protect their interests in the event of a company takeover. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.